Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, got a little video. So this is a um, pistol that I got. So it is pretty much a, well, first it's clear, nothing in the chamber, nothing magazine. This is the Brownells uh, G Glock 34 size RMR. It has a Holosun 507CV2 on it, as you can see. So today I'm going to show you the trigger pull. This is the Vogel competition drop-in trigger and you could just uh, reset on it. So, and it's got a silencer code threaded barrel, stainless, looks pretty nice. So what I'm gonna do first is, we're gonna go do some trigger pulls. Let's come in with you guys down here. And I am using my Wheeler, there you go, as you can see it there, Wheeler trigger pull scale. So I'll try to get it roughly where you be putting your finger at. So, and then we're gonna pull. So I got one at three pounds. I always do like five. So that's right at three pounds. So again, where I put it at. Right at three pounds again. It's a pretty nice trigger. Reset's pretty good. So what I'm doing today is actually Just a hair under three. It's three again. So pretty much right at three pounds. So with that being said, so what I'm gonna do now, get you guys back face up back at me. So what I'm gonna do now is I got a couple magazines loaded with a nine miller ball ammo. We're going to be aiming at my left target down there. It is the yellow one. You can kind of see it's like right there, right there. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna be aiming at. So I'm gonna move you guys up a little bit so you can kind of see better. Getting in the video. So I got my ears on, got my eyes on. So here we go. So we're just gonna see, make sure everything works good. Okay, just a couple breaking rounds. So here we go. So center mass. Hmm. Didn't eject that first one. Or the second one. Got a stove fight. Well, sort of stove fight. Fair to eject. So it could just be the spring is too stiff or whatever. Why does it be broken in? Stove pipe. Oh, that sucks. Here we go. Dang it. Could just be a, um, Spring's too stiff. Yeah. I'm gonna call it short. So I had a bunch of uh, failure to eject. So it was all like stove pipe and everything. So I gotta go change out the spring. I gotta go find me a different spring for it. No sense in wasting ammo on this. But yeah, I was getting stove pipes and they would come out and not pick up the next round or whatever. So I'm gonna go and Check out the spring. So yeah. So I gotta go and check out my spring. Find me another one to put in there for the time being. Other than that, um, thanks for watching. And um, I'll come back and finish up the video with a different spring in it. Hey everybody, welcome back. So I went and changed up my spring. This one is a lot lighter than the other one. So I'm gonna get my ears on. I'm gonna get this started. So I think what it is, I actually got my the the spring that I meant to put in this one swap uh, mixed up with the one I think it was for a 10 mil. So we go. We'll see how this one works. All right. So didn't feed on the first one. Take a feed. A 
pop that back, get that cleared out. I wonder why it's doing that. Holster for this. Around back in the magazine. I just need to be broken in. Extract that one. Clear the feet again. Uh, didn't lock back. Hmm, wonder why that is. Probably just needs to be broken in. That was 17. Eject. Eject again. Wonder why. Another one. So this is. I'm not really too happy with it right now. Probably just need to be broken in. I did rack it a lot. I got it put together yesterday and I racked it a lot, so. I just need to be broken in. Yeah. It's not feeding right. Yeah. Hey, at least it's accurate, though. Give them that much. Give it that much. Sonic Co. Barrel. Hmm. We will see. Hmm. It's kind of weird. Oh, that one actually did cycle. Yeah, who would have knew? So let's see. Stove pipe. And last round. All right, let's see. Yeah. So I'm going to have to take it back and uh, do a lot of check and see why it's acting up. Why it's Nothing feels like it's binding up or anything. So we'll see. I gotta, and I don't really want to shoot all this ammo because of the fact that ammo is really hard to get right now. So, oh, and that's got a sweet trigger. Super sh short uh, reset. So, I don't know if y'all can see that, but I'll turn the camera around so that way y'all can see it. I'm pointing in a safe direction. So, here we go. So there you go. So take up, break, and then reset. So there you go. So other than that, um, I like it. I just gotta work the bugs out. But other than that, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, you have a great week and um, have a great rest of your week because it's Thursday. And then have a great weekend. Take care. All right, so I couldn't just leave the video at that. So thanks for all you guys that are sticking around. And if you want to, like, subscribe, hit the notifications button, or don't hit the notifications button, whatever. So what I did, take this down again real quick. So what I had to do was go in there and clean out the this channel here for the spring. So this is the second spring that I had. Instead of doing two full 
magazines this time. I want to do five rounds each. So I'm going to do five rounds with this spring. And then I'm going to change over to the other spring and do five rounds with it. Put my ears on. All right, so here we go. Oh, all right, so miss feed on the third round. And another slide lock. Did not lock back for some reason. Maybe I'm riding my thumb up or something. That's probably what it is. As you can see, well, there's a little grease mark. Like a little, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But anyway, that's probably where I'm riding my thumb at. So anyway, so I'm going to change springs. That worked a little better. Swap springs out real quick. So I brought the other spring out here with me. And we'll just see if that was the problem. All right, so got that spring. So hopefully this fixed it. All right, so there we go, five rounds. Let's see how this one does. Nope. Hmm. This feed on the fourth one. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Kind of hide the light, but yeah. Miss feed. Here we go. Make sure my thumbs are out of the way. And stove fight. So with that being said, I'm going to go through all my stuff, find a what you call it, the um, a di another spring, a different one. And there's another thing you gotta notice too. So this is the Brownells slide, all right? Cut for RMR and everything. And I don't know if you guys can see, I'll turn around this way. So you can see how it's rubbing on the barrel there. So I've never had one rub on the barrel like that before. Not as much. So anyway, that's that. So I'm gonna go back and lube that a little bit. I'm gonna put the other spring because it actually worked the best. I'm gonna do that while we're out here. So I'm putting the spring back in my pocket, my other one pocket. And probably just need to be broke in. But my first one of these, my other one, my black one, I didn't have any issues like this at all. So it's kind of, as you can see, I think that's exactly what it is. So I don't know if you guys can see this. But see where the barrel's hitting the bottom? Right there. So it's literally doing that. And then when the barrel kicks up, it's like when it shoots, it comes up and locks or something. So that's exactly what it looks like. It looks like it's catching... It's excess rubbing right here, so maybe it's the slide issue. So anyway, so that's that. I'll figure it out. I'll make another once I get it all figured out. I'll make another video. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by, and uh, take care. All right, guys. So I couldn't just leave it at that. Um, so what I did is I went and got one of my other pistols. So the initial spring that I had in this one, I put it in this one. So what I'm gonna do is fire five in this one. Okay, and then I'm gonna fire five in this one again. All right, then I'm gonna swap springs and fire five in each just to see if it is the springs or maybe it's just me. So the only difference between the two of these is of course this is a 17, 17 length and this is a, um, I forgot who makes it. But anyway, it's got a Faxon barrel, whatever, and it's got a Johnny Glock trigger, so. A Johnny Glock trigger, y'all can, it ain't worth the, the $365. All right, so this is the spring that I initially had on my other one, okay? That worked, okay? So stick this back in my pocket.
And this is with the spring I initially took out of that one. So, hmm. something ain't right. So one thing I noticed. Let me take this out. Get the get the round out. It's rubbing on the brass right here. I can't. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but this the part that catches the back of this is rubbing right there. So I'm gonna put this round back in there. See if I can finish this up. It's kind of weird how that happens, you know. So let's see. And as you can see, it catches on the back of the bullet right there. Actually, I'll take my phone, take a picture, and put this in the video. So, because the GoPro doesn't really show everything. So, let's see. It's almost like the slide ain't coming back all the way. That's what it definitely looks like. So... Uh, I'm not even gonna waste that round. So anyway, what I'm gonna do, put this back in there so that gives me three rounds left in here. So, and what I'm thinking might be happening, everything looks identical. They're clear by the way, I don't know, you know I don't look, got a gun pointing at my face. That is weird. They look like everything's going back the same. So it's pretty much the same thing. Set different triggers, whatever. So I... Know what I'm going to do? One thing I have done. So I want to try this slide as is. Take that out. Keep this one. kind of weird having all this crap. so this is the slide that I'm kind of having issues with okay so here goes those other three rounds so same thing freaking stove pipe and again slide lock back let me drop mag And again, it's rubbing across the top of the brass. So, I don't know. So now I'm really thinking it's the, it's the slide doing it. So, all right, so now what I'm gonna do, since I figured that out, so I'm gonna take the slide off the one, put it on the other, right? All right. So, all right, so we got that. So I switched that. So now we're gonna switch springs. I'm gonna put this spring, take it, drop that in there. Take this spring. Take it. Spot springs. I'll try this one in here. It just seems like the slide isn't going all the way back every time. And it seems like it's. I know it's kind of weird. I'm sitting here playing around the range. I should have my. I do have a table. I just I just don't have it up here. So anyway. All right, so that's it, that one. So, 
Could just be the barrel's too tight. I don't know. Fourth round. Did not come out. I wonder why. Nothing looks like it's rubbing in there. Set. Oh, that's weird. I'm getting it's it's just weird. I'm gonna stick the other one back together. Where that spring go? So that's definitely got to be that slide. And if you're still watching, thanks for hanging around. Give me one long video. All right, so here we go. It's got to be the slide, yo. Anyway, so I got some tinkering to do. Clear. I got some tinkering around to do. It's clear. To figure out why. It's doing that. No fucking idea. Anyway, so I got some tinkering around to do. I got to clamp my brass. Uh, those of you that stayed, stood around, uh, hung out and watched this whole freaking shabacle. Uh, I'll do another follow-up video when I get it all figured out. So, thanks for watching. All right, so back to what I did is I measured, it's the slide. So what I did, I measured this, all this up through here. And I measured it in this other one. And I measured the block. This one is literally like 15 thousandths of an inch um, too tall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to smoothen it out. I'm going to polish it and polish it and polish it so it stays super smooth so that way it actually does it doesn't rub as bad we can see how bad it was rabbit rubbing and everything so i'm going to polish this i'm not really going to round i'm making i'm going to make sure i don't round this off if you guys can see it the very front where it actually catches the back side of the next piece of brass and chambers it so there's a significant amount of brass down through here which is normal so I'm going to polish that and I'm also going to, because I noticed how bad it rubbed this to my, I don't know if y'all can see it. So let's see, I'll take kind of what, so that my fingers clean. So I'll wipe right here. I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's shavings. So that is from the wear here on the barrel, as y'all can see it. If y'all can see it. So anyway, so it's really super tight and it's just from the barrel going, you know, when the slide goes back and all that stuff. So I'm going to polish this a little and I'm going to polish this. So it's at night right now, so I'm not going to go out and shoot it. So I'm going to polish this a little bit and I'm going to polish down in here a little bit and hope that's everything. Cause I'm not gonna sit here and deal with the whole waiting around for another slide and all that because it's just gonna take forever and all that stuff. So I'm gonna do all that stuff. I'm gonna use a sanding stone to do this or whatever to do that so it's nice and flat. So other than that, that is that. And um, the next part of this video will be me out at the range. All right, everybody, so we're back out here. Um, this is one long video, so sorry about all that. So I brought, what I did, one thing I did, I did put a 13 pound trigger in it. So I'm gonna get my ears on and we're gonna see how it works. If it does work, I'm gonna show you kind of like what I did, just kind of point out what I did. And then if it doesn't work, I'll be back at the old drawing table. So I got five rounds four mags and we're gonna see how she works now it's 
fly like that. So gravy. All right, so that's working fine, right? So I'm gonna pull out my other one. This is one I was kind of swapping back with, with this one earlier in the video. So, how this one does. I gotta turn my dot up, can't hardly see my dot. Right, that's good. That's good. So they're both good now. All right, so clear. Sit that back in my pocket. It's clear. I don't know if y'all can see there or not, whatever. All right, so what I did is these rails, I polished, I uh, took some of that out, polished those up, polished these up, whatever, All right? This. This little ramp thing here in the middle of the slide. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let's see. Yeah, so this right here. So I took some of that down and polished it up. It was scratched up my brass, so I kind of rounded the front off of this here. And 13 pound spring, which could have just been, you know, the whole thing anyway. So other than that, everything runs the way I'm happy with. So that's that, it's fixed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stay, watching the video to the end. If you subscribe, whatever, I really don't care. I just do this because I like doing it and other people can watch me shoot and listen to me talk about what I did to fix my gun. So stay strong out there, everybody.